Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Apex. In this video, let's take a look at this cool wireless DeX feature connected from Galaxy Note 20 Ultra on the Sony Bravia Android TV. I've been trying to connect this on my Sony Bravia, but I was so disappointed not being able to connect it. I did everything possible on TV settings without any luck and was kind of getting frustrated, but then the only way I could finally connect was after performing a factory reset on this Android TV. And then it just worked flawlessly. This feature is expected to hit some of the Note devices very soon and you are going to enjoy this feature for sure. If you find any difficulty in connecting it to your Android TV, you can drop a comment and I will try to answer your queries. And with that being said, do hit that subscribe button and leave a like to support this channel. Now let's get started. Alright, now the first thing to do is make sure that your screen mirroring is turned on. To do this, just go to inputs, go to screen mirroring and it will automatically be turned on right so now just go to your home and uh, you have to use your phone and turn on wireless dex let me just turn this on so you have got a dex toggle here just hit it and this is the pop-up that you're going to see just hit start There we go. So that is connected and this is the setup that you get. This is the display that you get it on big screen. So you have got everything available on your phone available on the big screen here, right? Now we do have an option to turn the phone as a touchpad. You can see there is already a notification here which says use your phone as a touchpad. So I can enable this. Now this becomes the touchpad for DeX, right? So now we can uh, turn it into landscape mode or you can, we can use it as it is. So you can see the mouse pointer there. Now you can see the mouse pointer over there. So all the features works flawlessly. We have got everything working here. You can see uh, the app drawer here. So you've got all the applications here. Let me just open one of the apps. Let's say calendar. So this is the calendar here and I can increase, I can make it full size as well if I want. Right, so let me just reduce the size let me close it then at the bottom uh, we have got recently used apps here and uh, we have got home screen and we also have one more icon here to go back and on the right hand side we have got volume key volume button and uh, there is an option to take a screenshot as well and then we have got wi-fi and battery percentage and all that stuff and we do have a clock on the right hand side corner so uh, it looks as if you know you're using your phone on a computer so this is more of a desktop setup that you're getting here all right now let's take a look at what are the gestures available on this touchpad so the first one is select objects open apps activate buttons and more with the left key and then you can tap with two fingers to show more options menu and we have got swipe with two fingers scroll in any direction pinch with two fingers to zoom in or zoom out and then we have got touch and hold select objects on the screen and if you touch and hold and move you can move the objects around the screen or select text tap with three fingers you can go back Tap with four fingers, you can show the applications on the screen. Tap with four fingers, you can show the apps on the screen. Swipe up or swipe down with three fingers to view recent or home screen. Swipe left or right with three fingers, switch between applications. There are so many gesture options we have got here and you can actually use it effectively here. So this is the touchpad we have. You can either use it horizontally or you can use it vertically, right? I'm not able to show you the gestures on the touchpad simultaneously with the actions on the screen because I am using just one camera here and the background just gets blurred if I try to show you anything on the screen right now. And if you find it difficult to use your fingers on the touchpad, you can even use your S Pen here. It's very easy. The best part is while you are using DeX on the TV, you can easily go back on your phone 
you can exit the touchpad and you can start using your phone as usual so you can do whatever you want on your phone and your uh, desktop experience will still be going on on the big screen right so you can just go back to your touchpad and start working on the screen all right guys that's about it this is the experience of samsung dex wireless dex feature on any android tv so it is going to be more or less the same procedure to connect your android tv and samsung wireless dex right so i'm not sure how much i'm going to use this feature on the tv but you guys let me know if you get this feature on your older note 9 or if you are using a samsung note 20 series are you really using this feature just let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like for this video if you find it useful full thanks a lot for watching until the next one you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye